So I've been using RoboVac cleaners for quite some time, and every time I want to use them, it's always quite a hassle because I have to clear out the place, I have to make sure that there are no obstacles because sometimes it would get stuck and it would just be a, overall a very frustrating experience opting me to actually grab my regular vacuum. Finally, I can say that with the new S10 by 360, with its triple laser system, the sensors are so good that I no longer have to worry about this anymore. I can simply just talk to my assistant start the vacuum and it's going to vacuum knowing that for sure it's not going to get stuck it's not going to get tangled thanks to its really smart obstacle detection let's dive into more details with the s10 robovac to explain how this works with its new innovative features If you find cats writing Robovax to be funny, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. With that in mind, let's get right back into the video. The most important advancement for the 360 S10 robot is its new triple I LiDAR system. And the reason why this is so important is that it makes this system a lot slimmer in a vertical profile, allowing it to go under beds and sofas that it otherwise can't. The previous generations of Robovac with LiDAR had this a very similar system. However, it would protrude out a little bit beyond the actual profile of the Robovac and it would be spinning 360, you know, obviously detecting the, making a 3D scan of the area that's in. But that little protrusion would really prevent it from going in certain places. It would just add that extra half inch and it just didn't work very well, especially if you had to you know, go underneath a bed or go underneath a sofa. Not only is it gonna look a lot sleeker and it's gonna be more functional because you can go underneath beds and stuff, this new system is actually a lot better in terms of detecting smaller objects that are on floor. And this for me has been the biggest relief when using a Robovac. Not having to worry about getting up and then you know, tidying up the entire place, being able to just say, hey, start running the Robovac with your voice assistant and then it can smartly detect little obstacles that are on the ground. Let's say, for example, we look in this footage over here, we're looking at some chairs, we're looking at some bed frames that are really thin, about half an inch from the floor. And on previous Robovacs, it would always try to go over it and it would really be kind of an annoying experience. It would get stuck and then I'll have to go and stop what I'm doing and go to the Robovac and reposition it, for example. With the new 360 S10 robot, it never does that. It is really good. I'm just super impressed of how smoothly, how seamless the whole experience is. So the triple I LiDAR system is probably the most important part of this video. Being able to go underneath my bed and suck up all the dust bunnies and all the fur balls from the pets has been amazing. There is so much dust collecting underneath there. Just look at this footage, look at it, how it picks up that dust and just completely devours it. Goodbye dust bunnies. So how exactly does the triple LiDAR system work? Well, there are three lasers. The one is the main sensor and that is used for kind of far range sensing of the, uh, of the entire house. It's able to detect rooms as like in the previous generation, and it can actually make a 3D model map of your entire house, which is actually really cool. So that is the first laser. The second laser or the front laser is used more for detection of shorter range objects. So things that are nearby, kind of small to the ground. This allows the obstacle detection to be more real time, more dynamic, especially when it's running and it finds a hazard that is you know, unknown throughout the map scanning. You can avoid that with a lot of ease thanks to this laser. And for the third and final laser, it's able to detect vertical distance of a nearby object. So it doesn't slam into something that it cannot fit underneath. Now, of course, you're gonna get your standard sensors that come with every kind of Robovac particularly the ones with the cliff detection so it doesn't fall off the edge of a staircase. It has six sensors on the, on the bottom of the Robovac. And of course, there's a mechanical bumper. This is a kind of like a sensor to detect whether it hits an object. It's able to absorb any impact, but most of the time, it's not gonna be an issue. You're never gonna actually hit something really hard because the triple I LiDAR system is just so good in the first place. So the mechanical bumper is more of it's like a safety net, for example. So moving along the form factor of the S10 360 robot, one of the things that it has not lost from the previous generation is the large wheels. Now these large wheels are fantastic. As you can see, they're really large so they can go over really big obstacles. Let's say for example, you have a thick plush carpet it's able to just transition onto it very easily. So even though that the S10 has become smaller in size and it's a lot sleeker overall, don't let that fool you. The actual suction power of this vacuum has become very strong. Now there are four different profiles in terms of suction power. Now, I don't need to go on the highest uh, setting, but I'll explain why a little bit later, and it all has to do with the smart carpet detection. But personally, I like to keep it at balance. I feel like that is a very good trade-off between keeping it quiet and also performing very well. Now, in terms of the smart carpet detection, this has been a game changer. So I don't need to run this Robovac at 100% full power all the time. It's gonna be really loud. It's gonna run the battery very low when it's running on hardwood floor. It's just gonna pick up some loose dirt and stuff like that. However, it automatically detects using ultrasonic sensors when it goes on, a, on an actual carpet. 
and it will increase the suction power quite substantially. And this is, this is really important, especially if you have thick carpets in order to get all the dirt and grime out of it. This optimizes the performance of the vacuum and also optimizes battery so that you're not wasting it, obviously, when you're going on hardwood flooring. Now, from my experience, the carpet detection has been 100% accurate. I'm very impressed of how well it works. Now, sometimes it'll go over a little bump and it might detect it as a carpet, but that's just really temporary. It kind of just stops for a second. So the car carpet detection has been really accurate. And best of all, it actually records where the carpets are in your house. This becomes really handy in the future. By having all your carpet zones mapped out onto the map, the Robovac can use that data to actually avoid it, let's say when it wants to do a mop. So this is really useful if you're going to be using the mop function. It's, com it's going to completely avoid the carpet so you don't kind of mop over a carpet, which doesn't make sense at all. So speaking about the mop functionality of the S10, this has been a major improvement over the previous generation. Now, some previous vac Robovacs I've tried, you know, they would have the canister of water and it would always leak, especially if you kind of docked, docked it and didn't have the protection thing below it. It would kind of leak water onto the floor and that could potentially damage your hardwood flooring. I'm happy to report that this new Robovac has a very good mechanism to hold water. So you can just keep it there all the time. You don't have to worry about it or whatever. And when it turns on and it starts mopping, it's going to you know, slowly extract the water out and clean your floors. Now, I personally love the mop function. I have a lot of ants. I have an ant invasion in my house. And by using just a little bit of vinegar in the actual canister that holds all the water, kind of diluted with some vinegar, it helps keep the ants at bay because ants do not like vinegar. So I'm able to get 100% coverage of my entire house, keep the floors very clean. I have all these pets, you know, these dogs, the cats, they, they bring in all this dirt and mud into the floor. Being able to run the mop every, you know, three days really helps keep the ants away and just keeps the floor look, you know, very spotless without any dust and, and whatnot. So like the battery, the canister can last for a very long time. I've had no problem vacuuming the entire house, mopping the entire house for about a 2000 square foot house, which is pretty big, has maybe three bedrooms. So for tech gadgets like a Robovac that I use daily, it's really the little things that really matter. As the expression says, the devil's in the details. And one of the things I really like about the new 360 S10 robot is the new dust canister. So not only the size and the capacity of the dustbin has been improved, it also is a much bigger joy to use when you want to empty it into the garbage can. There's nothing more satisfying than taking your vacuum, lift, putting the dustbin over the garbage and just pressing that button and just poof, all that stuff comes out and it just feels really uh, cathartic, for example. So that's one of my favorite things to do every time I use this Robovac and it has become such a joy to use because it's just so easy to pull out that bin and kind of just empty it. In fact, even though the, the bin is larger and they say that you, don't only need, you only need to change it every two weeks, I love to do it every day. Honestly, I think doing it every day and cleaning your vacuum is really going to optimize the performance of it. And cleaning the fine filters is also really easy. You just need to wash it with a little bit of water and let it dry. Dust bin returned. Another little underrated feature kind of in the details of this robot is the voice communication. Entering mopping mode. Cleaning makes me happy. Now, I know it sounds a little corny when it, you know, every time you turn it on, it says like cleaning makes me happy. For example, it has this voice that you can customize in the settings. You can set it to different languages. But the reason why I like this voice so much is that it can communicate specific issues to you. So let's say you got stuck or it's like scanning an area, it can notify you and it kind of humanizes the whole experience. It kind of keeps your Robovac as a pet. So I kind of like that it talks to me and it's able to communicate very clearly instead of using like a series of beeps and, and flashes that is more cryptic for a human to understand. This is very clear and easy to understand when you operate this vacuum. And it's all thanks to the voice output. Now, in terms of battery performance, it's nothing short of amazing. I'm surprised it was able to do up to around 2000 square feet and still have 30% battery left. So I can't imagine that this is going to run out for a larger house. But let's say you live in a really large mansion. Well, there's no problem with that. As it cleans, if it detects that it's going to run low on battery and it cannot finish the whole cleaning operation, It'll go back to a station, recharge, and it'll continue where it's left off. So let's talk about the companion app for the S10 robot. I have to say this app is absolutely beautiful and very intuitive at the same time. I just find it so useful that you have this such an advanced app. It gives you so many features, so much customization that it might be a little bit overwhelming in the beginning, but don't get, don't worry. I found it to be actually very intuitive. I didn't need any instructions on how to use it. Now, the first thing you'll immediately notice when you open the app is it's kind of a 3D scan of your entire house or maybe a bird's eye view. In my opinion, it kind of looks like Google Maps for your house, and that in itself is an amazing feature and just why we all want LiDAR sensing uh, Robovacs. Now, looking beyond the coolness factor of this map, it's actually very practical. You can use this map to customize specific areas. So, for example, when you first run this, it's going to start detecting your entire house and it's going to start designating rooms. 
And one, one thing that was really cool when I first detected the house was that I, I live in an open concept house where the living room and the kitchen are pretty much in the same room. It was able to kind of sec section off the, the living room into one part and then in the kitchen to the other part. So I don't know how it does that. It's very smart, but in some cases it might falsely detect a room. What's nice about the map editor is that it's very easy to set boundaries. So you can basically create a new room. You can section off areas and this is, it's just a very easy experience overall. One really important feature that I think is super important for pet owners is to set up a no-go zone. And this is kind of like a virtual wall. And to, in old Robovax, you would have to use like weird, weird, funky systems like a, like a magnet, or you would have to set up these boundaries with these physical objects. It's just very clunky. You just simply draw on the map where the Robovax should not go. A good use case for this type of feature is let's say you don't want the Robovac to go in a sensitive area. Let's say, for example, the feeding zone for your pets it's kind of a little dirty there. Maybe you don't want the Robovac to go there. You can set up a no-go zone right there. There are just so many different features in the app that I really recommend checking it out. Obviously, I can't go all through all of them in this video because we would be here forever. Now, speaking of apps, one of the best things about this Robovac is that you don't even need to use the app to engage with it. And I'm talking about the voice assistant. Hey, Google, start vacuuming. Got it. Starting the 360 robot vacuum cleaner S10. Now in previous generations, you were only able to integrate with Alexa. I'm a Google Home user. I use it all the time, I'm a big Google fanboy. And finally being able to use my Google Assistant to interact with the 360 robot has been absolutely amazing. And not only has 360 opened up to the Google Assistant, they've really enhanced the type of features you can engage when using your voice. Let's say for example, you wanna stop the RoboVac, you want it to go recharge, you just say, okay Google, and then recharge the vacuum and it'll just go into its little docking station. I can't overstate how convenient it is to engage with my Robovac using my voice. So in the end, I have to say that I'm thoroughly impressed with the major advancements in the 360 S10 robot, particularly with the sleeker design and the new triple I LiDAR system. This has made things such a breeze to use, not having to worry about cleaning out my entire house to clear out the areas so that my Robovac doesn't get stuck. I can just finally say, engage with the Google Assistant and say, hey, start vacuuming. And I don't have to worry about anything. It's gonna you know, detect, let's say my cat you know, did an accident on the floor. It's, be able, it's gonna be able to maneuver around that. The second biggest thing is obviously the sleeker profile. Finally being able to go underneath my sofa or my bed and collect all the dust bunnies. There's just so much dirt under, built underneath my bed that I'm just so happy to have it finally gone, go away. I am truly impressed that 360 can jam all these sensors, all this new technology into a slimmer profile and just make the overall user experience way better. Now, obviously there's so many other different upgrades like the dustbin and the in-app experience. There's just so many good things about this Robovac. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments about the Robovac, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if this video helped you anyway, please do give a like. It really helps the channel and I will see you in the next video. Oh no, 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 no. We all know that cats rule the internet and this video would not be complete if there wasn't a montage of cats playing with this Robovac. it can avoid this obstacle. Oh, wow.